in case I was play. Chucklesome trucks. Hello, team. Hi, Sir Topham Hat. Now, I need a volunteer for a very special job tomorrow. Oh, choose me, sir. I haven't pulled a special in ages. Obviously, I'm the best engine for the job. Whatever it is, sir. Oh, pick me, sir. Pick me. Now, now. I need an engine to pull some trucks across the island. To Vickerstown. Trucks, sir? Troublesome trucks? No, thank you. Oh dear. Ah, Rebecca. Thank you. I'm happy I have an engine like you working on my railway. Later that night at Tidmouth Sheds. I remember the first time I pulled the troublesome trucks, Rebecca. I was going up Gordon's Hill. When I got to the top, they pushed me down. The entire time, they were laughing at me. I almost came off the rails. <laughs> Something funny, James? Let's not forget the time the troublesome trucks ran away with you. They pushed you into some tar tankers. And that was very, very fast. You were covered in tar. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> but since we're all remembering, how about the time the troublesome trucks pushed Percy into the ocean? You were galvanized. These trucks sound much more troublesome than the trucks where I come from. Oh, what are the trucks like where you come from, Nia? Oh, uh, all these trucks are troublesome. We need a railway. Railways are no good. You need to be careful, Rebecca. Oh, don't worry. I won't let a few trucks bother me. Night, everyone. We were all worried about Rebecca taking the troublesome trucks. Hey, caramba! This is all my fault! 
Mm, don't worry. I'll save you. How are you going to save us, Sir Topham Hat? Oh, I'm not going to save you, Rebecca. I'm here to save the cake. But Rebecca didn't seem worried at all. Aren't you worried about the troublesome truck, Rebecca? Oh, not at all, Emily. I'm looking forward to the adventure. All the other engines have a funny story involving the trucks. I wonder what mine will be. There's something stuck in my engine. I wonder what it could be. Becca's pulling us along. Becca's pulling us along. Becca's pulling us along. Give her a shove. Oh dear, Rebecca. Having trouble with the trucks already? Look out ahead, James. This is fun! I don't believe it! Thomas, you missed your signal. That handcar came out of nowhere. Hi, Percy. Oh, no. Rebecca's going to crash. Oh no! Not again! Send him to Davy Jones' locker! I like pulling trucks along. I like pulling trucks along. I like pulling trucks along. It's so much fun! See you soon, troublesome trucks. Hope to see you soon. What just happened? Hello, Percy. That looks like fun. Thomas, you are late. And you ruined my best hand car. Hello, Thomas. And hello to you, sir. Hi, James. You're looking fishy. Oh! Later on at Tidmouth Sheds. Honestly, I don't know what's gotten into you today, but every single one of you has gotten into some sort of trouble today. All of you, except... Rebecca. Yay, me! Free the roads. Bulgy the bus carries passengers around the island of Sodor. He has a dislike of the railway and always wants the passengers to travel by road. Is your train late? Wouldn't it be better to take the roads instead? Buses are much more reliable. 
Sorry, Bulgy. I prefer to take the train. Hi, Bulgy. Free the roads from railway tyranny. Bye, Bulgy. Free the roads! Free the roads! But I'm not blocking the roads. You're blocking the rails. That might cause an accident. Come on, Bulgy. You can't stay there. Sir Topham Hatt brought you back to help me. Exactly. And yet passengers still insist on going by train. That's because trains are safer than roads. I think the roads are much safer. Help! I'm on fire! You were saying, Birdie? Oh. Later on, Bulgy was thinking about how safe roads were and wasn't watching where he was going. Watch where you're going, Bulgy! was the only one who saw soil land in the water. <laughs> oh, hello, Bulgy. Hello, Thomas. Enjoy your water. Hmm. There's something funny about this water. Maybe that'll blow his boiler. Help! I'm on fire again! Oh! What's going on, Thomas? Oh, what's happening? Thomas had to pull off into a siding. My boiler feels funny. Later on at Napford Station. Ah, Bulgy! There you are. Thomas has suddenly taken ill. Would you mind taking his passengers for him? Well, of course, sir. We buses are always happy to help. Sir Topham Hat, Sir Topham Hat. Gordon has taken ill too. And Rebecca is held up at Vickerstown. Oh dear. What can we do? I can help you, sir. <laughs> Soon, Bulgy was full of passengers. Hello, Bertie. He and Bertie spent most of the day covering for any engines whose boilers had backed up. Now this is more like it. No more railways! The buses have finally won! What's that up ahead? It looks like Bertie! Everything all right, Bertie? It's all these passengers. It's too much for my engine. Don't worry, Bertie. I'll take your passengers. We buses must stick together. But you already have a full load, Bulgy. That's all right. The more the merrier. So all of Bertie's passengers loaded onto Bulgy. But Bulgy struggled going down the road. My axles have never felt this sore before, but I must keep going. Then there was trouble.
Bulgy's axle broke. Bertie's passengers were upset. This wouldn't have happened if we traveled by train. Now I'm going to be late. You should have paid more attention to your capacity. I never wanted it to end like this. Why did I let that bag of soil contaminate the water? Bulgy! Oops. I thought you were trying to help these passengers. But it appears you were responsible for confusion and delay. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Soon, the trains were back on track and on time. So the engines are all right then. But what about me? Where's Butch, the tow truck? Hi, Bulgy. Don't worry, Bulgy. I've arranged for you to be taken to the garage as well. Hello, Bulgy. Oh. There's one thing I don't understand, Thomas. What's that, Bulgy? Where'd you find clean water so quickly? We filled up at the other water tower. You know, the funny one with the clown on it. I don't think that's an actual water tower. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. My boiler feels really bubbly. Help! I'm on fire! That's never happened before! Yo! Panicky Percy. It was dawn at Tidmouth Sheds. Yes! Got here before Sir Topham Hat. Wow, that was close. Oh, I love the snow. We never saw it in Kenya. It's so... magical. Oh, but you do have to be careful. Back in China, Thomas and I got stuck in an avalanche. That does sound sc 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 scary. Good morning, all. Ah! Has the turntable always been like this? Yes. yes. Very good. Now remember, the rails will be icy. So don't go too fast. We wouldn't want any accidents. Hey, Percy? No, Sir Topham Hat. Very good then. But what about avalanches? I think we should all stay in the sheds until the snow's gone. Don't be such a scaredy engine. As long as you're careful, everything will be all right. Nia's right, Percy. See you back at Knapford. Enjoy the snow. But Percy was still nervous. What was that? It's an avalanche! Help me! It wasn't an avalanche, Percy. It was only me, Merlin. I didn't see you there, Merlin. That's because I'm invisible. You're not invisible. Then why didn't you see me? Oh, go journey beyond Sodor or something. Oh. 
Oh no! We're gonna crash! Silly, Steamy! Wow, that was close! I'm sorry, Percy! I forgot where I was going! Oh! Oh no! Avalanche! Sorry, Percy! I was just clearing the tracks! Oh! Later on at Nafford Station. Thomas? Where is Thomas? He said he'd meet me back at Nafford. And why are Annie and Clarabelle still in the yard? Oh no! He's probably been caught in a avalanche! Thomas? I'm coming, Thomas! Ah! Percy, what's wrong? Thomas has gotten into a terrible accident! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I believe you. Thomas never made it back from Arlesboro. He must be on Duck's branch line. I have no idea where that is. Please hurry, Rebecca! Never mind, Percy! I'll check the main line! I just know that Thomas is in real trouble. Help, Percy! Ah! Thomas is in danger! Percy, what got into you? Duck, call the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Why on earth would I do that? Because it's the Great Western Way. I'll do it. Thomas! I'm coming, Thomas! I'm coming! <laughs> oh no! I've been derailed! That's never happened before! Now who's gonna help Thomas? <laughs> Gordon! Percy has said Thomas had an accident! Leave your passengers at the next station. Uh, don't do that. They'll understand. No, we won't. Of course. I'm right behind you, Rebecca. <coughs> Have any of you seen Thomas? Thomas? Who's Thomas? I've never heard of Thomas. Yar. I'm right here, Rebecca. Ay, caramba! Thomas, you're fine! Of course I am! Why wouldn't I be? Whoops! <coughs> oh, Thomas, I hope you're okay. Percy! Nia! What happened? Thomas had an accident. So I was going as fast as I could to try and find him, but I... But maybe you might have been going a little bit too fast? Especially in the snow? <laughs> Nia, what are you doing? Percy had an accident. Well, I'm looking for Thomas. Rebecca said he was missing. Did someone say my name? I don't know what you're all doing here. 
You should all be out looking for Thomas. Did somebody say my name? Thomas! I thought you got into an accident. It looks like I'm the only engine that didn't get into an accident. You mean I abandoned my passengers for nothing? Why did Gordon just abandon us? I'll never take the train again! You should take the bus! Sure! What could go wrong? Wait, do you guys hear something? It's Harold the Helicopter! Uh, hi guys! Harold, your helicopter blades! They're gonna cause a... Avalanche! Didn't you just know something like that was gonna happen? Later on at Tidmouth Sheds. Well, I'm glad we got out of that avalanche. That was more snow than I have ever seen. It just goes to show, panicking never solves anything. We should always try to remain calm in stressful situations. Otherwise, the problem could snowball on you. I can't help but think that we're forgetting something, though. T -t 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 Thomas? S -s 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 so cold, cold, cold. It was a quiet night on the island of Sodor. Except at the diesel works. Diesel! Today you caused confusion and delay. So tomorrow I want you to take these cars to the docks before the rest of your jobs at Knapford Yard. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <whistles> sir Topham Hat is always picking on me. No one else ever gets in trouble. Just because I took some cars to the waste dump. Hey, Whiff, why did Diesel leave all this dynamite at the waste dump? I'm not sure, Reg. Should I crush him? Scrunch him. Okay, then. Are you sure this is a good idea? Uh, that was a bad idea. Scrunch it! <laughs> what? Well, those cars were supposed to go to the docks. I... I was in a hurry. Uh, I thought I was getting dynamite. So? Uh, this is Bubbles. Same thing. Now I have to go to the docks before I even start my other jobs. Could anyone help me? Um, I could do it. No, Sydney. You've got to pick up the parts so we can fix Philip. I beat Gordon in a race once. What Den means to say is... You've got to fix your own problems, Diesel. Huh. Silly Diesels. How would they like to be in trouble all the time? It's not fair. I make one teensy-weensy mistake and suddenly I'm the bad one. Ahoy, Rebecca! There is many a ship here this morning. So excuse me if I don't hang about. No problem, Salty. Let me know if I can lend a wheel. I'm always happy to help. <gasps> I know a way to get the other diesels in trouble. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, woe is me!
Are you all right, Diesel? Oh, no, Rebecca. I need help. Could you lend me a wheel? Oh, sure thing, Diesel. What is it that you need me to do? Pick up that flatbed of parts over there and take it to McCall's farm. No problem, Diesel. Will do. Then pick up the fruit and take it to the quarry. Oh, and another thing. While you're there, pick up the stone and take it to Vickerstown Yard. <laughs> wow, so much to do. I'd better get on with it. Thank you, Rebecca. Meanwhile, at McCall's farm. I wonder what all this machinery is for. Hi, Terrence. Um, where's the fruit and veg to take to Tidmouth Markets? Oh, Rebecca already took those. <laughs> but that was supposed to be my job. Where did she take them? Hello. Where are my cars of stone for the castle? Uh, there's one of them. Rebecca took them. And she left all this fruit and veg. Doesn't matter now anyways. <coughs> Me again. Ha ha ha. He he he. Take up the steel and take it to the docks. It's a hot day and it's getting even hotter. Since I'm here, I'll fill up on water. Huh, where's the steel? Rebecca already took it. Also, you're a diesel. And diesels aren't supposed to fill up on water. Huh, I must have forgot. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Ulstead Castle, Oh, it's not steel we need today, Rebecca. It's stone. Oh, but Diesel said... Diesel? <laughs> you should know better than to listen to him. But he said he needed help. I thought I was helping. Where's all the fruits and vegetables? All I see is milk, chocolate, and chocolate milk. I'll take all of it. Um, has anyone seen my steel? Or a flatbed of parts? Or anything, really? I got some bubbles. Great, fill me up. No, Sydney, you're a diesel. Uh, what does that mean? Sorry, Philip. We can't fix you up today. What he means is, Sydney didn't deliver the parts. Can I still race, Gordon? Maybe to the scrap heap. Oh, oh, oh. The indignity. Later that night at the diesel works. I don't know what got into you diesels today. Paxton, you didn't do your job. Neither did you, Sydney. And Norman, usually so reliable. What happened? Poor Philip's been hanging around all day. I beat Gordon in a race one. No, you didn't. He was trying to take a nap. In fact, the only Diesel that did his job is Diesel. Well, you know me, sir. Diesel do, right? <laughs> I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. Diesel, Millie said it was stone they needed today at Alstead Castle, not steel. 
But you told me to take the stone to Vickerstown. What else did Diesel ask you to do today? He asked me to take the flatbed of parts to the farm. And the fruits and veg to the quarry. Well, now we know what happened to our cars. Diesel! Say, where did Diesel go? All I see is this freight car full of spare parts. Maybe they're Philip's spare parts. Good thinking, Sydney. Dan, I want you to work on Philip immediately. Does that mean I'll be racing Gordon again soon? I'm going for dinner. All right, Dart. Let's rip apart that freight car. Oh, dizzy diesels. What do you think's in that freight car, Thomas? I bet it's full of surprises. Gordon gets the giggles. Oh, the indignity. Morning, Gordon. Oh, dear. Oh, that's sticky. Silly me. I didn't see them there. I really need to watch where I'm going. I'll just back up a bit. Watch out, Rebecca. Oh, dear. Wow, that was close. I'll be out of the way soon, Tom. <laughs> Rebecca, you look ridiculous. Well, they say an apple a day keeps the diesels away. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> Are you okay, Gordon? Yes, yes, of course I am. <laughs> but you're making a very strange noise. It's my funnel. There's something wrong with it. Oh, dear. I wonder what's wrong with Gordon's funnel. <laughs> oh, dear. What's happening to me? Rebecca causing three major accidents isn't even that funny. But every time I think about it, I just start. <laughs> I can't behave like this. I'm not some silly little engine. I'm pulling the express. Keep it together, you big blue sausage. Are you okay, Gordon? Yes, of course I am. Okay, but why are you stopped in the middle of the track? Oh, I just thought there was something wrong with my boiler. Okay, then. As long as you're sure it's okay. <laughs> Maybe there is something wrong with your boiler, Gordon. You should go to the Steamworks and get it checked. Yes. Okay, Thomas. <laughs> Sorry again, Thomas. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? I'm a serious engine with a serious job. I pull the express. If Sir Topham Hatt saw me like this, he might take the express away from me and give me a silly job. <laughs> Hello again. Sorry about earlier, Gordon. I honestly don't know if I'm coming or going. Why, just the other day I... <laughs> Who is that engine anyways? <laughs> Gordon, whatever is the matter? Nothing, Rebecca! I've got to go!
Was that Gordon? He could have caused an accident. He did say there was something wrong with his funnel, Sir Topham Hat. And his boiler, sir. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. This is a disaster. My express pulling days are over. Gordon? Is that you? What are you doing hiding back here? I have a very serious problem, Paxton. Then you should go and get some help. Everybody needs some help sometimes. I'm always needing help. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Paxton. I need to go get help. Okay, then. So off Gordon went to the steamworks. Buenos dias, Gordon. Victor, you have to help me! I've got a terrible case of... The Giggles! <laughs> you have to make it stop, Victor! Don't worry, my friend! I know just what to do! Well, my friend, what do you think? I love it, Victor. Now this is a serious look for a serious engine. I'm glad you like it, my friend. Ah, Sir Topham Hat. I'm all fixed up and ready to pull the express. Oh, Gordon, you won't be pulling the express anymore. But why not, sir? I heard there was problems with your boiler and your funnel. So I gave the job to another engine. But, 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 but who? Hello, little brother. Oh, the indignity.